here we have the Piggy Hotel. Uh, as I said, um, this was built uh, after 1952. <coughs> because in 1952, <coughs> the roof of the hall was blown away in a huge storm. And uh, the, the, the people had to rush out the hall and uh, uh, escape. Um, so the roof was mended uh, and so they could come back. But, but they thought, no, we're going to build a farmhouse uh, along the way, which they did, and that's the current farmhouse. And directly they moved in there. Pigs were installed here. Um, and, uh, and actually, people said, oh, what a terrible shame, and oh, what a pity putting pigsties in here. Well, I can tell you, if they hadn't, then it wouldn't have been worth maintaining this building for the years that the pigs were in here, and we would have lost it anyway. So I think you know, it's a blessing, and um, I'm grateful. <laughs> I'm, I'm grateful to those little organs. So um, yeah, this and this is also a phase of its use. The walls were cemented up, and uh, so that they could be washed and hosed down to prevent disease. The windows were heightened. You can see that uh, because the pigs that then wouldn't be wanting to dash out through the windows. <coughs> And uh, <clears throat> so when those windows are cleared, and there are windows, blocked up ones, behind that cement over there, light will just pour into this uh, ground floor. And I think it will be an extremely exciting space. There's a lot to do with the beams here that are interesting because some are much older than others. There's this, this one has got ads marks in and it's a very long beam um, and so one wonders why they've got a mixture of old beams and new beams. Um, there is a possible answer to that because you see there's another ads beam there. This one here is pit saw and you can see the saw marks and so that's obviously that's a later um, technology. Um, they come from an older building. Where was that older building? There is evidence that it could be this building itself. There are features in it which show that there was a massive structure here before uh, this became a Palladian villa. So it's interesting. And we will find out um, whether there was uh, an earlier building here, which was skinned and um, faced up and made into a Palladian mansion. Um, and this often happened. There's, there's Palladian mansions over Scotland where there was a much older farm building underneath and, uh, and um, one of them uh, became a wreck, like, a bit like the hall. And um, uh, it could have been saved, but unfortunately somebody set fire to it, the whole thing burned down and, and, and it's lost. Uh, but, um, but that's a parallel to, to Clestron. Uh, it could be that this was built on a much older building.